subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Tropical Storm Isaias is looking to relocate its center right now. It's currently located 19.5 degrees north, 70.6 degrees west, in between where the old low-level center was and potentially where a new center is forming off the coast of the Dominican Republic right now. The National Hurricane Center is still putting the overall center of the storm in between those two for now. Still though, a dangerous storm winds of 60 miles an hour and minimum pressure of 909 millibars, now expected to become a hurricane, the second one of the season in the forecast right now, a stage two on the CDPS scale, significant damage is possible with this system at the moment. Distance of miles right now from land, Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, 72 miles away, although conditions should start to improve there soon. Grand Turk, Van Turks and Caicos, 121 miles away. Andros in the Bahamas, 517 miles away. Grand Bahamas, 614 miles away. And Miami, where a tropical storm watch has been issued, is 650 miles away. There's a whole host of warnings and watches here right now, so I'll, you guys can pause if you need to, but the essence is that there's warnings right now through the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Dominican Republic, and portions of Haiti, with a watch on the Florida coastline right now, at least in the southeastern portions of Florida. Here's the GFS model showing the wind, or not wind, uh, precipitation and cloud curve. You see the air of the influence of the storm moves through the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, and then approach Florida, getting pretty close to it as a significant system, potentially a hurricane intensity, is the latest forecast intensity now, before potentially getting very close to the Carolina coastline and further out in the forecast period, down towards five days now, potentially impacting the northeastern United States. So the whole eastern seaboard needs to monitor the developments of the system very closely now, as it is looking likely that there could be some potential threat if the storm stays on the western side of the envelope. Right now, the forecast is calling for it to stay offshore. Caesar's temperatures look like this. They won't be an inhibitor. 29 degrees plus where the storm is heading right now. The main factor that could limit intensification would be some southerly wind shear, although it is expected to intensify at least marginally from here on out. The storms, this is the wind model from the GFS. You can see a strong tropical storm moving through the southern Turks and Caicos and Bahamas coming up, getting close towards Florida. Again, this is why the eastern seaboard needs to watch this. It is possible that impacts occur somewhere along the eastern seaboard if the current system deviates westward of the consensus just by a little bit. Some of the models bring it significantly closer to land, including this GFS run here, which potentially brings a landfall near Rhode Island and North Carolina as a hurricane strength storm. So we need to have people watching this system very closely along all the eastern seaboard, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and even still Hispaniola. Trump, chance of tropical storm force winds are like this, though. Grand Bahamas at 68% right now. Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, 99%. Grand Turk about to be impacted at 84%. Andrews in the Bahamas, a little bit lower, 58%. And Miami has 18% right now. They do have a tropical storm watch in effect for that area, though. And you can see that again on this warning code from the National Hurricane Center. Take a second to pause if you need to. This track keeps it just offshore, but again, impacts would be likely if this track were to remain exactly correct on portions of the eastern seaboard of the United States, and any deviation west could bring a landfall, so people in the area do need to monitor this very closely. Anywhere in that five-day cone, the system could end up, and we're getting a bit more of a clear shot at what the future track could look like now. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see it. Uh, no real strong close center yet again, although it really is trying to spin one up off the coast of the Dominican Republic now where that mid-level center has been. The low-level center initially that's further south is really starting to die off. We should see a close center here form pretty soon, and the storm likely now will become a hurricane according to the National Center. Hurricane Center's latest forecast. We'll be live in under two hours at 7 p.m. Eastern covering the latest developments with this system as Hispaniola has unfortunately not slowed it down much. Stay tuned for more. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.